actually you do you you're so Irish that you still a little bit do a thing that we to be honest we don't really do it that much here right. anymore. You play in a show band, don't you? I in used to play in a show band. band. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, in an Irish show band. Yeah. Yeah. I played for many years in a in a band uh, called the Borderline around Manchester because it was the only circuit you could get on to to learn how to play live. I mean, because all the all the clubs had kind of gone, and the only circuit that was going was the Irish show band circuit, yeah. and and it was a great thing to do, you know, and I loved it. And that's what started me off with this this love of Irish music and Irish history and and so forth. Yeah, and of course, then you you, you also. As we said, would yeah. you, you would come here yeah. uh, because it was a kind of a handy place to yeah. to have a few bevies. Well, I, I liked Dublin. You know, I've got a I think a genetic memory, if if you if you will. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. I, I just feel very comfortable here. Yeah. And uh, as I said to my, I've brought my girls with me for the first time this trip, and I was showing them. You know, and I said this this in the gene pool. Yeah. See, this is where you get your romance and your storytelling and your sense of honour from, and it's all from, from your Irish heritage. Yeah. Uh, and I'm very, very proud of it. Yeah. Mm. You, you tell a great story in the book about you showed up in Drogheda yeah. looking for yeah. uh, your relations That's in Drogheda. Right. You didn't know them as such at I the time. I didn't know them very well. Yeah. And it was a bit of a, a boozy Christmas, and I suddenly went, right, I'm going to Dublin. And uh, I went on a plane and found them. And I went, right, I'm going to Drogheda. And the Irish being the Irish the way they are, I just put the word out that I was looking for someone and within 20 minutes he turned up and, and picked me up. Amazing. Yeah, your relations yeah, and, and, yeah. and no questions asked. No, 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 here come you in, are, let's have a drink. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, the, the thing about it is that you found out kind of later on, didn't you, that that mm. was what was known as is doing a geographical, yes. is that what it is? Yes. What, what's doing a geographical Ge Doing exactly? a geographical is where you think, well, it's basically the grass is always greener. You think, I know, I'm drinking too much here. If I move to America, Australia, or if I move to Cork or to, to wherever, or Belfast, my drinking will get better. And it, it just doesn't, you know, yeah, it's, it's yeah. a myth. Well, it probably yeah. is better in Ireland. Like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and the Guinness was probably better. Well, I, well, I used to love it because the yeah. people left you alone, you know, and you yeah. could get on with what, what you wanted to do. Because you, know? you kind of, you, you always felt safe in the camaraderie of the pub, didn't you? Like, when I loved, you, 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 I yeah. loved the pub. Yeah. Uh, I felt very safe in there. You could get, you could get all the best jokes. You can get marital advice, uh, mechanical advice, legal advice. You get everything in the pub. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All from fully trained professionals. All from totally... <laughs> and they were never, ever wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.